All right, guys, and welcome back for a new review. Today, we're going to take a look at the NECA Quarter Scale Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Donatello. Pretty cool uh, figure line. It's been really well received. I remember having that poster of that exact shot that you're looking at now as a kid. This movie was pretty awesome. Uh, flipping the box around, you see you got image of Donatello on the side. On the back here, you got some other shots of him. A brief read-up, you can feel free to pause and read that. Taking a look at this shot right here, reminds me of my buddy uh, Mike Echo. He's uh, Check out his channel, he's got a really awesome little diorama going on for his uh, Ninja Turtles from NECA, so definitely I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out his video on that. But in any event, let's go ahead and just crack them open and give you guys a better look at Donatello. Stay tuned. All right, so here's Donatello out of package. Let's give you an overall look. Really awesome detail and excellent rendering of the movie Ninja Turtles. The paint and the sculpting are excellent. The likeness to Donatello, that dorky looking uh, look he kind of has, uh, is pretty much just spot on. You know, with his head taking a closer look at that I'm not sure if all the spotting on him is uh, you know 100 percent accurate but it definitely looks the part and the uh, back of the bandana is cloth so really cool you know the uh, eyeballs definitely uh, have a really lifelike look to them zoom in on that you can kind of See how it's got that high gloss. Looks like I guess it was popped in in the mold. It doesn't necessarily look painted. It does look like a separate piece. Though it could be. It's kind of hard to tell. Either way, it's done really well. You got that turtle type texture on the skin. Looking back, you can kind of see the uh, the way the they got this strapping on there, very realistic. The way that looks, and the way they've used the elbow pads and that to hide the articulation was a great, uh, great feature. Doesn't completely hide it, but it hides it well enough that it looks pretty good. And I will say this guy's really heavy. You know, it's a quarter scale piece. So, looking at the height on him, he is about 16 and a half, almost 17 inches tall. To give you an idea on that, you know, if you are planning on getting this guy, one of the reasons I'm kind of late to the game is I didn't really want an action figure this large. I don't particularly care for quarter scale, but uh, that's only due to the, uh, how much space they take up. But yeah, very large action figure. Uh, as far as the articulation on Donatello goes, it's pretty good, except I don't know if it's just because he's new. I can't seem to get all of them points of articulation to work. They are tight. So the head itself is on what seems to be some kind of ball joint, but everything is really stiff. You can look up very little and down very little so he doesn't have a whole lot of head movement uh, the arms obviously can can move forward and back problem I'm having you can see this joint here and also on the inside but I can't get it to move out you can definitely see there's a joint there that it moves out it just will not move out so maybe I need to heat them up with a blow dryer and again, this is new. I just kind of took it out of the box, so it might be that, uh, you know, that's causing it. Uh, elbow is a double jointed, but you know the way it's 
you got this pad it does block the double jointed elbow from going beyond 90 degrees and of course you get a swivel and hinge at the wrist uh, there's an interesting part of articulation with the actual shell that you can see how it attaches to the front so it allows you to get a little bit of movement out of him so you can lean him forward and kind of back this up a little hard to work with these big guys but yeah you can see how you can allow him to lean forward and back that's an interesting bit of articulation the legs themselves are on a ratchet super loud and they can click forward and they do click out uh, really far too actually you can get them to do pretty high kicks uh, you get a what looks to be like a single jointed knee but again with the pad it doesn't you can maybe get this to 90 but everything is super stiff and then the ankles of course are on a swivel and a pivot so you can mess with that pretty good articulation just really stiff and cumbersome to work with at this size all right taking a look at the accessories uh, i'll take a quick look at the hands on the figure he came with two gripping hands and he comes in addition to that the thumbs up hand and again really excellent sculpting and paint work on these figures and you get this kind of relaxed or pizza holding style hand get another thumbs up hand for the left another maybe pizza holding or you know martial arts style hand all of these look really good and another kind of grasping open grasp hand so a lot of nice hand options to get a slice of pizza really good detail on that looks really cool looks really delicious you get his bow staff of course that's what makes him Donatello and it's got a nice wood grain to it and a canister of mutagen TCRI you can see it's gashed open which the radioactive material or mutagen oozed out of so that's pretty cool all right so final thoughts on Donatello these figures are pretty amazing looking figures. They definitely look the part and are a great value for the money. A quarter scale, heavy, detailed, well painted piece like this for $100 is an excellent value. Uh, I was able to start working some of that articulation out. As you can see, I got them into kind of a cool ninja esque at the ready pose. Uh, the articulation is pretty stiff and you got to really kind of force it a little bit to get things going of course be careful not to break the figure because uh, it feels like if you force something too hard in one way or another you might snap the plastic but in any event I think he looks really cool I mean he's all kind of posed up ready for action really cool figures these things look phenomenal excellent uh, collectible for a Ninja Turtle fan especially if you like the original movie uh, again I'm not a huge fan of these very large Ninja Turtles uh, in this scale you know I prefer the 1-6 scale the best and it'd be interesting if they Necker bothered to make these maybe in the 7 inch scale make them a little more accessible so with that it would be pretty cool but for what these are, for the value, they are worth it. Uh, I thank uh, Mike, for, who's uh, Mike Echo I'm referring to, for convincing me to pick this up. Awesome piece. Uh, I do recommend it if you're a Ninja Turtle fan, especially of the Ninja Turtle movie. Uh, this is an excellent collectible for your collection. All right, guys, that's it. And as always, thanks for watching.